Alright, check this out. You guys are back on Blue Devil Reactions. And what we have going on today, it is a video titled MS-13 Leader Arrested During Traffic Stop in Ohio. Check this out. I think I've seen this a few weeks ago. I was watching Swamp Stories. Uh, and the, the video was about MS-13, right? And they were showing all these people that were killed and who killed them and how they got killed. And they were showing the gang leader that was stopped in, in a traffic stop in Ohio. I'm not certain if this is the same one, but I think it is. But this video here, I haven't seen. I seen the Swamp Stories. It was like 15 seconds. This is about five minutes long. But before we get into this video, uh, if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you guys comment. Everybody that watches the video, just comment for the algorithm. Like the video, dislike it. You know, let's get it up there. Uh, other than that, if you guys are not subscribed to the main page, The Hater World, uh, we drop over there three, four videos a day. Same thing as here. Uh, the only page that we're actually working on right now is Clips, and we're trying to revamp Cell Side Stories. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, we got a new device here. We got a uh, a soundboard. You know, so we got, we got our, our, our sounds here in the front, Studio B. We got our uh, our uh, sound effects here, right? So we're going to be able to... We're going to be able to play music. We're going to be able to have sound effects. We're going to be able to have fun. You guys already know how that goes. Uh, at the Hater World, we only use sound effects on the podcast, which which right now is only uh, the Hater... No, what's that shit called? Haters only. Sorry, there's just so many things going on. It's, it's crazy. Uh, but check this out. Check this out. If you guys want to speak to me directly, hit me up on Instagram at the Hater World. Send me a DM. I'll reply to everybody. But other than that, with no further ado, let's go ahead and press play on this video and get you guys a Blue Devil reaction. Let's go. This is Boy Henry, Henry Union Edward 56 Toyota out here. Get your ID on you. How you doing? Hey, doing all right? Is this a rental car? Yes. Okay. Did you rent it? I rent it. Okay. Yo, the driver. Look at the driver. Tell me it don't look like Misfit Soto. Tell me it don't look like Misfit Soto. Am I tripping? Had it all. Do you have the rental agreement on you? Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you need my license? Yeah, if you got them, that'd be great. Thank you. Here, I'll give this paper back to you. I see to see this one right here. Thank you. Does he not speak any English? No. Okay. Well, the reason I got him stopped is because he's falling too close. I'm not going to issue him a citation. It's just going to be a warning, okay? okay. All right? Okay, this tailgating. I'm not going to lie to you, but if I was a cop, right? If I was a cop, I could never be a cop, right? But if I was a popo, this popo, and I'm looking at these three people, one, two, and three. My antennas are up. Something's going on. Something is going on. Okay. I would be looking at this like they moving weight. Like they moving dope. You know. That's what it would look like to me. They got the girl that rented the car in the back. Right? You got a guy that don't speak Spanish. And then you got the guy. Both of the guys in the front don't speak. I mean, in Spanish. They don't speak English, right? So it seems like they're the ones doing the dirty business and the hyena in the back seat, you know, is a translator wherever they go. That's if I was the cop. And you know why? Because I've seen this a lot. When I used to be in the game, bro, the house that I had two houses. The, my house my house in the outer skirts of the city, I had drivers come every day, bro. 
2 o'clock, you're going to have a driver there. 5 o'clock, you're going to have a driver there. They'd call me. The driver's on the way. The drivers would come, bro, just like this. They would load up and they would leave. I seen it all and this looks sketchy as hell. Gotta have it back in Denver. I'm sorry? Gotta have it back in yes. Denver. Yes. Gotcha, on the 13th. Yes. Gotcha. Where are you guys heading to? To New York. To New York, gotcha. What takes you to New York? Oh, that's where you're from. Yeah. What took you to Colorado? Work. Oh, okay. Better pay. Okay. Oh, then they caught. They caught. They are caught. All right, you're going from New York to Denver, right? That's a big, you know, that's a big piece of highway, right? You got to rent a vehicle, and you got three paisas that don't speak English, right? And this torta right here simply said, I went to Denver for better pay. What is he talking about? Like, did you go do a job for a weekend? Or did you just, you rented a car to go do a job? That don't make no sense. Think about it. Think about how that makes sense, right? You're going from, you live in New York. You just told a cop you live in New York. And you went to Denver for a better paying job, right? All right. But you have a rented car that you just rented to go to New York. It just makes no sense. Or, you know what, maybe the way she explained it. But cops don't care. They, they're going to mix your words up regardless. I'm trying to figure it out. All right, I live in New York. I live in New York. I moved to Denver for a better job. All right, cool, that's understandable, right? But now I'm moving back to New York, and I rented a car to go. All right, that's cool. Where's all your belongings? Where's all your belongings? It just doesn't make sense. Who you work it's, for? Uh, Bear Logistics. What is it? Uh, it's Amazon Delivery. Oh, okay. Um, I saw it said Amazon on here. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So does your company rent it or did you rent it? No, I rented it, not the company. Not me. Okay. They just asked where I work, so. Oh, that's, okay. Yeah, that's yeah. why it's on here yeah. then. Worldwide discount. So you get a discount for it? Well, because if you if you link your Amazon account to uh, Avis, the okay. Avis account, they get it gets like a gift card oh, after okay. I return the vehicle. Gotcha, gotcha. When the cop says gotcha, gotcha, it's over, homie. It is over. It is, go like this. Well, you can't see. Go like this. It is over. When they, the cop goes, gotcha, gotcha. They're not even paying attention no more. They're already thinking, like, how to arrest you. They're already thinking, like, all right, in, in, in 2.3 seconds, she's going to be cuffed. You know, think about it, bro. She's talking. Oh, he's saying, gotcha, gotcha. It's over. It's too many questions being asked. Simple question. If you say you're going to give him a warning, here's the paperwork. Get the fuck out of there. Out of here. Come back. Give us a warning. Let us be on our fucking way. What you investigating like you're a detective? You're a detective now? You're a fucking highway patrol, but you're a detective. What you detecting? How long are you staying in New York for? Uh, five days. Five days? Yeah. What part? Long Island. Long Island? Yeah. yeah. So you grew up there then, huh? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Did you like it there? What kind of stupid questions are these? I'm getting fucking irritated. If I was that little tortita, bro, I'd be like, what the fuck you asking me? You asking me, if you want to know if I play baseball too, motherfucker? You want to know if I play baseball too? It's a little too personal now. I'm going to give you guys a quick little funny story, real quick, all right? I went to get some food around the corner just now, like 20 minutes ago, right? I ate lunch and shit, right? And I'm at the drive-thru, I, I got a club sandwich. You know, I don't, I don't eat hamburgers no more or drink soda and shit like that. You know, motherfucker trying to do something. And then the, the white lady goes, the white the white lady goes, you want ketchup? I go, nah, let me get some chilies, some yellow, some yellow chilies, right? You know, the little yellow ones. And the white lady goes, I knew you were going to ask for those. Bro, I felt offended. I looked at her, I go, do I look like a, like a yellow chili eating motherfucker to you? You know, I felt offended, bro. I felt offended. It's like, too many questions. The same shit right here. Too many motherfucking questions. Give me the ticket and be on your motherfucking way. You originally from the United States or? Yes. Oh, okay. How about these guys? Um, Don't say El Salvador. How do you know these guys? 
He's my fiance. Okay. That's his cousin. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Alright. Is he here on papers? Uh, who? Does he have papers? To be here? Like a work visa or? No. Okay. Yep. Oh, he fucked up. It should have been the hood rat driving, bro. It should have been the hood rat driving. Bro. Listen, when they writing dirty like that, let me give you guys a little trick from back in the day when we used to like, you know, do dirty business. They sell these little little weights that you put in between the shocks of your vehicle, the springs, the springs, not the shocks, right? And you twist them, and what happens is that when there's people in the back seat lying down or or you got extra weight, the car don't drop whichever way, right? The car don't drop. It stays it keeps the car straight. So it should have been the guy and the girl in the front and the cousin should have been in the back lying down. So that way when the cop passed by him, the car looks even, doesn't look like there's anybody in the back. Normal people in the front, no big deal, let them keep going. But this shit looks suspicious like a motherfucker. Looking also suspicious. Thank you. El Salvador, El Salvador. Okay, gotcha. All right. All right. I'm not going to issue a citation or anything like that. All right. I'm just going to run your information. Make sure there's no wants more. Make sure you guys are loud to get you out of here. Okay. All right. Thank you. This agent wants to speak to you. He's going to be step out. Okay. Oh, it's over. That fool's heart sank, homie. Look at, look at, look at this guy. I'm over here pointing. Look at this guy. Looking straight forward, bro. Look at Misfit Soto. Thinking about like, what the fuck you do when it's <laughs> really about you too. Damn. Oh, that fool called Border Patrol. What an asshole, bro. Hey, bro. Let me tell you guys something. I used to live in the border town, like literally the border was like the wall. Cops would not get involved in border patrol business, ever. Bro, cops will catch you with illegals and tell you it's not my business. That's what they will tell you. Bro, people would jump the fence and there'd be cops there. Cops would be on the block for whatever reasons they were there, right? Pulling somebody over, detaining someone. And illegals would jump in front of the cop and walk right by the cop. And the cop would never, ever tell him to wait or hold or whatever. The cop would tell you it's not my business. What kind of shit is this? This motherfucker called Border Patrol? Bro, how is there an even a Border Patrol in Ohio? Wow. Just fucking Wow. <laughs> Any pistoles in the car? No. Okay. That fool shaked his head. He knows it's over. And you know what sucks? You feel betrayed that the cop was so nice to you asking you where you grew up at. You know, did you play basketball? Whoop de woo. And then you feel betrayed that here they come to arrest you. It's like, why you want to be cool with me and then book me? That's why at the beginning, that girl should have told the cop, fuck off. Go do your thing. No, we don't have nothing. Nobody got an ID except for me. You know? They going to, listen. The cops going to do their job and find whatever they got to find anyways. So, drive clean, right? Or, at least have all your paperwork intact so they don't search your car. I'll have you come out here real quick. Any weapons on you or anything? No. Pistol lays? No, okay. not, not that. Pat you down real quick. I'll check your waistband here real quick. 
Let's take your phone out right here. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Put it right there. Okay, come back here for me. Okay. okay. Stand by here a second, okay? What? Where, where are you going to run to? Where are you going to run to? There ain't nowhere to book it to. She say that motherfucker ran. Where are you going to run to? I just can't believe Border Patrol was called. That's that's weird. That is fucking weird, bro. They don't even call Border Patrol in Cali. F bro, you know how many illegals are walking in Cali right now? And they get pulled over when driving with no paperwork? And they get sent to jail? They might get a hold on them depending on who they are and, and what kind of background they got. But most illegals get sent home after they do their time. Some get deported, but it all depends. Oh. I'm just going to put you back here for just a second, okay? okay. Just one, one momento. Not all right. That cop is afraid. That's why he's being super friendly. What is this video right here? Body cam video shows arrest of alleged MS-13 in Sandusky. No wonder they got border patrols. What the fuck is Sandusky? That tells you everything. Sandusky. Listen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was it's real weird that Border Patrol would magically appear like that. They must have a station nearby. But listen, I hope you guys enjoyed this one once again. Coming soon, coming soon. Uh go over to the hater world, run up the numbers. I got a video right now. DJ Academics likes Transformers, aka transmissions. Go run up the likes, run up the, the views. And other than that, we're going to kill this video we're laying, call it a day. I hope you guys enjoyed this Blue Devil reaction. And we out. Blue Devil gang, gang, gang.